In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool building inside of Revit as an in-place mass. So the main part of the building is just a big cube. Now the vertical elements are interesting. There are different ways to do this, but I chose to create a couple of extrusions on top of each other, and then you adjust the shape of uh, one of them, bottom or the top one, then you align the second one uh, to that one, and you repeat this for the rest of the towers, and you you just join everything together. Now, of course, I'm going to be showing you all of the steps in Revit. Let's go. Now, quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours dedicated to all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. So now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit, I have this uh, project which I've kind of prepared with some reference planes and so on. This is just going to help us with the uh, correct dimensions of the design. So to start, we're going to be using obviously a massing. So let's go here to massing in sight, turn on show mass, and then let's go to in place mass. Now for the name, uh, I'm just going to leave it as mass one, you can obviously name it however you like. And then let's get started by creating the first uh, kind of uh, shape of this, which is going to be that main uh, building shape, which is just a simple box. So let's go here to the draw panel, uh, pick out the rectangle tool. Uh, I'm going to use draw on work plane and make sure that the placement plane is set at level one. Then I'm going to come to this endpoint here, click, and then go all the way to this end point here. So to this intersection and then hit the escape key a couple of times. Then I can just open up the 3D view, I can see my rectangle, click on create form and that's going to create this box. Then I'm just going to go to the south elevation and I'm going to extend it all the way up but I'm going to stop just a little bit shy of level 5. So we can just set it at perhaps 500 millimeters less than level five. And this is going to be that main shape. So let's go back to the 3D view. There we go. Now it's time for the actual vertical elements. Now to do that, let's jump back into level one, just like this, zoom in a little bit, and then let's pick out a rectangle again. Again, keep it at the drawn work plane and let's keep it on level one. Now I'm going to create a rectangle that looks like this. Hit the escape key a couple of times, select it, and then let's go to create form. Here I can go to the south elevation and then I'm just going to adjust this form to go down to level two. Perfect. Then I can just hover over one of the edges of this form, hit the tab key once or twice until it says form element, see? Then you click to select the entire form and then you can just go here to copy, CO is the shortcut, and then let's copy it from here to here, just like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times, go to the 3D view, and then let's find the top face. So you hover over the edge, you hit the tab key once or a few times, you select that top edge, and then you extend that. Now, in this case, I'm going to go to the south elevation and then extend it all the way to the top here. Okay, so once we have this created, now it's time to create that kind of unusual shape on the front of this building. So you just wanna hover over the edge here and one of the uh, these uh, points is going to light up and now you can added the position of that point. You're going to be using this gizmo to do that. So then we can just go back to, uh, let's in this case go to level two, just like this, extend it up here, just like that, then go back to south elevation and move it up a little bit, perhaps like this. Yeah, perfect. Maybe a little bit more, perfect. Then go back to the 3D view, select this vertex, and then go, yeah, let's go like this go down to level two and then extend it outward a little bit like that. Okay, perfect. I think this is the shape that they wanted to see. Perhaps this can go up just a little bit further. Perfect. Now, what do we do with the bottom part? Well, it's actually easy. You just go here to the align tool. AL is the shortcut. You click first on this one here, then on this one here, and Revit is going to align those again. Just repeat the same process here and Revit is going to align that as well. Hit the escape key a couple of times 
And there we go. So we have the second shape. Now I'm not going to uh, join this geometry together right now. I'm first going to model the rest of them and then I'm going to use join geometry to join everything together. Okay, so now let me show you the second one because it's also a little bit interesting. So I'm going to open up level two floor plan and then here I'm going to use a rectangle. Uh, start again from this edge here. Make sure the drawn work plane is selected and level two is selected here as well. Again, go from here up to here, hit the escape key a couple of times, select that shape, go to the 3D view and then click on create form. Now we can go to the south elevation. Here I'm just going to adjust this to level four, click away, then hover over one of the edges, hit the tab key once or a few times until it shows form element, select, then let's go to copy, CO is the shortcut, and then let's copy it from here up to here, just like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times, then let's go to the 3D view, select this top, and then I just want to align it with this top here. Then also, uh, see how these are now aligned here in the front? Well, on the actual building itself, uh, this is just a little bit further out. So I'm just going to move this out. Actually, it's aligned to this point here, which is perfect. Uh, and then we can just adjust it. So here, I just want to move this point up a little bit, perhaps like that. Okay, I think this looks good. And now, finally, just to align everything, again, go to align, select this point here, this point here, and then these two, one after the other, and there we go. We have the second shape. Now, moving forward, we're pretty much going to be repeating the same thing with some minor adjustments. So I think it makes way more sense for me to show you like this, kind of speed up a little bit so you don't have to see each individual step. I think you get the point from the video itself. We're just going to have a couple of these towers, I guess you can say that are a little bit lower than the rest of them. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so something that you may have noticed in this accelerated part is the fact that I've copied a couple of these just to make it a bit easier. So basically what I did was just hover over one of the edges of one of them, hit the tab key once or a few times until it highlights the entire form, click to select, then do the same thing on the other side or for the other part of this tower, then hold the control key. So when you click on the second one, it adds it to the selection and then you just copy this. So if I go here to level two or three, just like this, uh, then you go to copy and then I can just copy it from this end point here up to this end point here and then just hit the escape key a couple of times. Okay, so once we have that, let's go back to the uh, 3D view. So this is uh, what this looks like now. So I'm just going to make some adjustments to this edge piece. Then for this one, this one should go down and out like this and then also like this. So it's just going down and out like so. And then the same thing is going to be repeated here, for example, like that. Okay, I think this looks interesting. Let's see this shape. Again, you can play around with it a little bit if you don't want to go too crazy, but yeah, I think this works. And then we just want to use the align tool and then align basically this to this, this here, and this here. Perfect. Hit the escape key a couple of times. And there we go. We have all of the towers and we have our uh, main uh, shape. So now it's just a matter of joining everything together. So you just go here to join geometry. You click on this one and on this one. So it's going to join that, join this, join. Oops, I don't know what I did. So let me go back and then let's try that again. So this to this, this here, this here here and this here. Perfect. Hit the escape key a couple of times. Now you can also join this shape in the back, which also makes sense. So let's go here to join geometry. And then I'm going to check on multiple join. So I'm going to select the main shape and then I'm just going to join all of these to that, just like this. And then hit the escape key a couple of times. And then let's hit 
finish. So now we have our main building and then obviously we can apply different uh, walls to this. We can uh, create a curtain wall for the main building uh, and just complete uh, the building all by using the uh, amassing site and then here a uh, curtain system for the curtain walls and then roofs, walls, floors and so on. Now if you want to get access to this Revit project file, both the start file and this finished uh, project, you can find all of my Revit project files on my Patreon page which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.